Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Fallout 2. You're here with Randall Lefebvre, otherwise known as Drax Craven, when we are infiltrating the Navarro facility. I mean, that's the plan, anyway. Oh, there's a super toolkit here? I had no idea. Noted. I will come loot this place earlier. Then again, it is patrolled by the Enclave, and, like, they will just shoot you. Uh... Chris is there for everyone who doesn't, who, who's able to get by. It's like, oh, you didn't see any patrols out there. Oh, well, it's a good thing there's nothing here. Nothing, no, no, no one here but us chickens. But if you go digging around, there's this giant trap door. Wonder where it could lead. Hmm. This could get nasty. So let's try to play it smart. All right, let's see if the I'm Patrick works again. You better get reported to the sergeant, get suited up. Uh, yes, sir. What? Why are you out of uniform, soldier? Uh, well, what? Can't think of a good excuse? I'm waiting. I don't have a uniform yet. Are you new here? I don't recall seeing you here before. Yes. I'm Pat. I'm new here. Well, you need your standard issue, then. Go into the armory, suit up, take your weapon. You should report to the drill sergeant afterwards. Thank you. You're welcome. Now get out of here. I got work to do, and I don't want to be disturbed. Got it. You don't want to be disturbed. I don't want to disturb you. Oh, yes. This is what we came here for. Advanced power armor. It weighs a lot, but it's worth it. Behold, our strength has suddenly jumped up to eight. This is what we wanted. This is what we like best. Look at this. Look at this. Armor class, 30. Normal five, laser eight. Armor class, 40. Normal 15, explode 20. <laughs> oh my god. I'm indestructible. Okay, I'm not literally indestructible, and I do well to remember that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need that. And these. You know what? Give me the buff out, too. Fuck it. A blue memory module? Huh. I don't remember what the blue one does. Ooh, and some explosives. Oh, and some junk. What's on the stuff table? Oh, there isn't anything on the stuff table. That's okay. But, now... Ho, ho, ho. Now we have a plasma rifle. With 30 to 65 damage. The range isn't so good, so that's why I still like to keep the sniper rifle around. But still, holy fuck. And don't worry about the amount of stuff we're carrying. Like, the, 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 the weight that we're carrying is mostly in, like, stuff I'm going to be able to drop off. Like the small energy cells and uh, the P90C. Alrighty then. Let's go snooping around. I know what you're thinking. You shouldn't snoop. You just got here. Oh, I should totally snoop. Hello, ma'am. Nothing to report. Un un understood. Oh boy, they had a pet death claw in the other room. Shouldn't you be at your post, soldier? It's not good to wander around out here. All right, all right, all right. I don't want to arouse suspicions. So I am gonna go up to the ground floor. Oh, I'm new here. Trying to get familiar with the base. Can I ask you some questions? Sorry, I got a few minutes. Uh, so, uh, what's your job here? I'm a computer technician. First class. I maintain the link to the mainframe below. Oh, good. Keep, keep up the good work. Uh, nothing. I gotta go. I shouldn't ask him where the main base is, because that's something I should know. You know what I mean? Feel free to look, but don't touch. 
Un understood. Nothing to report. I can't remember which one's the sergeant. I think he's in this room. Yes, sir? Uh, so what's your job here? Comp technician. Mainly I make sure the other techs don't screw up. Well, good, give the good work. Okay. A lot of, a lot of American flags around here. This ain't America. Oh boy, drill sergeant. Welcome to Camp Navarro. So you're the replacement. What's your name, Private? I'm Drexet. What was that? Did you forget something, maggot? Oh, my name is Drexet, sir. Is, sir. I work for a living, you moron. You will call me Sergeant or Sergeant Dornan. Do you understand me? Yes, Sergeant. Outstanding. Proceed on the double to the hangar where you will stand guard duty. You will do a fine job. Do you understand? Yes, Sergeant. And no joke, we just have to stand here until our shift ends. I mean, we could go fucking around, um, trying to, uh, <laughs> we could, we could go fucking around trying to, you know, get up to no good and, you know, find all sorts of delicious, delicious gubbins hidden around the base, but, um, that's a great way to uh, get totally fucked. And uh, I'm not down with that. Uh, you know what I mean? Because, yeah, if Sergeant Dornan... You might remember him. Arcade Ganon mentioned him with the, rest, with the rest of the remnants. Sergeant Dornan. I've never seen an angrier man in my life. That would, that would be the Sergeant Dornan. Heads up, there's some other funny things you can do. Uh, with the Enclave. If you uh, go to the Gecko, uh, if you go to the Gecko computer at Poseidon Oil, you can actually uh, send a message to the Enclave, uh, at which point they will send a vertebra to your location and fucking light you up. But it's still funny to fuck with an Enclave goon for a little while. That being said, that's also at your duty post and awake! Uh, that being said, that is a major hint to um, where the Enclave are hiding. Uh, you might remember... Um, you might remember... Right, so the, the, the power plant is uh, run by uh, Poseidon Oil. Plasma turret? Oh, boy. And a vertebrate. Nothing out of ordinary. It's a vertebrate, bruh. Uh, but yeah, so. Yes, sir. Fucking sir. Do I look like a sir to you? No, I work for a living. Oh, God. Beautiful. Um, but, uh, yeah, so. Right, so if Poseidon Oil can make contact with the Enclave base, then that means. That means... Use your head. Oh man, I'm getting kind of hungry. I could go chop up an apple or something. So, uh... I feel like I'm, I'm becoming an adult. And just like, more... More boring. I, uh, the highlight of my week this week, I ordered, um, I ordered uh, a new shower curtain to replace my old disgusting shower curtain. Um, and I, uh, I got it and it was just way too small. So I, I instead, um, I got another shower curtain and used the hooks from the first to spread it out around the, uh, the, um, 
spread it out around the entire curtain. Um, and was able to make a sort of Franken curtain. And, like, that was the highlight of my week. There is an insignia on his breastplate that you are unfamiliar with. God. So that's why I put 100 in energy weapons. I knew I would need them. Uh, 100 science. I'll need 100 repair eventually. But yeah, now we got power armor. It's not just power armor. It's better power armor. Which means now I can go replace those mine parts. And then I'll be able to recruit Marcus. I don't really need to recruit Marcus. I just want to let you know that you can recruit Marcus if you want to. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna go grab an apple and take a little nap. I'll be back when we're relieved from duty. Hey, if I have to suffer, you have to suffer. Those are the rules. Welcome back, everyone. It's come to my attention that the solution to the puzzle is just fucking leave. <laughs> I, I know, right? It took me longer than I would care to admit to figure that out. Like, fucking, why do I have to listen to Dornan? If I'm not there, who is he gonna... Who is he gonna call the... You get the point. Like, who the fuck is he gonna call about it? Okay, this guy's trying to fix that, and he does not want me looking in that locker. Okay. Dean's Electronics. I'd love to. Here we are. What the? I'm at my maximum load. Well, I probably don't need this many microfusion cells. And they're really heavy. Sure, I'll learn some doctoring. Can I use the sink? Use sink on self. Yeah, basically, if we're not there, Dornan will get upset. But, like, he doesn't know where we are. <laughs> I don't have a tracker on me. I don't think so, anyway. That'd be pretty brutal if they were just like, Aha! We know everywhere you go. Okay, and that's where the elevator, other elevator goes off to. All right, well, don't mind me. I'm just going to go absent without leave for a while and read some books. Also, now we have an expanded lockpick set. Which is just going to be useful. Anything in here? Heads up, when somebody tells you, stop looking at that, they fucking mean it. I, and, a, and another take, I ignored their commands and, you know, started snooping around. That locker in particular is one that you should not snoop in. Also, that thing I just picked up. Oh. Oh, sweet. Electronic lock pick mark two. And for defeating electronic locks and security devices. Includes update software and interface tools. Noink. Yeah, I don't really need the big book of science. Super Sledge. Nice. Not for me, but for someone else. Yeah, Navarro is the key to getting to all, uh, getting all the good toys. Because um, all the best stuff is here. I'm just gonna go down the stairs. Hey, yeah, everything's fine. Good, good thing everything's fine in here. A cyber dog, huh? I should investigate that cyber dog and talk to these science men. Grunts are not supposed to be in here. All right. I won't linger in there too long. Oh, 
Oh, that door closed behind us. Oh, that's weird. A blue pass key. Oh shit, I literally can't carry anything else. Hmm. I don't want to leave anything behind. Seriously, I don't want to leave anything behind. Uh. How much does he weigh? Two pounds. Four pounds. Well, I won't need the uh, regular lock picks anymore, so I guess I can leave those behind later. I'll need those Jimmy hats later. They're they're of vital importance. Hey, Doc. Hope you have a good reason to be interrupting my work, soldier. I want to ask you some questions. Very well. I have to live with you, Grunt, so I might as well make an effort to get along. Who are you? Shriver. Dr. Shriver. The base physician, among other things. Don't bother me with your name, soldier. All of you grunts look the same in that armor of yours. Uh, what do you do here? I work as the base physician, but that's just a sideline. Actually, I'm a geneticist. Let's just say I customize people and animals. Uh, why? What is this place? Base med lab. Felt my experiments took precedence over the minimal medical needs, so I had it converted into a lab. Why is the room soundproofed? In the course of my research, I perform experiments on test subjects. Sometimes they get a little vocal. The base commander found it to be disturbing, so he had the soundproofing installed. Why is there a death claw in the other room? Big, brown, ugly? It's an experiment that I've been recently completed. It's scheduled for termination. Why are you going to kill it? The Enclave has been looking for cheap, expendable soldiers. We are interested in death claws because they have built-in armor and weapons. But they're mean as hell. They just need to be smarter so they can understand commands, but not too smart that they can develop a will of their own. Yeah, I follow you. Well, we succeeded. We actually managed to increase their intelligence. However, I began to suspect that we went too far. That maybe they were a lot smarter than they were letting on. So when I was transferred here, I brought one of them with me so I could put my theory to the test. I was right. The Death Claws have apparently been playing dumb, biding their time, and trying to learn as much as they can from us. They can even mimic human speech. I've actually had a conversation with that fellow in the next room. Anyway, the fact that they were capable of conceiving this plan and pulling off the deception shows just how dangerous they are. I'm going to write a report on my findings, have it transmitted to the Enclave, and I'll have to recommend the extermination of the Death, Bre Death Claw breed. They're much too dangerous a threat. Hey, could I kill it for you? Be my guest. Um... What's the dog statue by the door? That's K9, my dog. I decided to see if I could cyber enhance his intelligence. It worked, but he developed a bad case of morals. He decided he didn't like my work, or me. He has bit me. As punishment, I disabled his legs, but left him pretty much functional otherwise. Now he gets to sit there and watch every distasteful thing I do. Could he be fixed? Oh, yes, I removed his motivator circuit and gave it to Raul up in the maintenance. It could always be put back in. Maybe I'll do that someday, just to see if he's changed his attitude. Oh, alright. I'm gonna boogie on out of here. Uh, Doc wants me to kill the critter for him. He doesn't want to do it himself. I knew the bastard wouldn't have the balls. Oh, go in. Good luck, soldier. Please tell me this door closes behind me. Oh, no. I can close the door. Hey! Hello, Zarn. Greetings, human. I am the warrior Zarn. Are you to be my executioner? No, I'm here to rescue you. I find it hard to believe that an enclave soldier is here to rescue me. More likely, you're here to build up my hopes so that you can dash them to pieces. No, really! You're my last hope, so I'll place my trust in you. That door over there leads to an air shaft that exits into the woods above. I should be able to climb the shaft and gain my freedom, however the door is securely locked and requires a pass key to open. Find the key, unlock the door, grant me my freedom. Sure, I'll do it. I think I can use the electronic lockpick on this door. Door requires a pass key. Okay, so it is pass key only. Hey, what happened to that blue pass key that I found? I just... I did find a blue pass key, right? I'm not going insane. What? Why can I middle? Uh, fu what? Why can I fuck with the punching bags? Oh, my bad. I found the blue pass key, but I didn't actually use it. Oops. Lo siento. Thank you again, my friend. I can I owe you a debt that I can that cannot be repaid. Also, that opens an escape tunnel, so that way if we ever need to escape, we can go up using this ladder. 
We also might be able to uh, fuck with that air processing unit. I don't know that for sure, but I do know that you can use that ladder to escape. Oh, man. Poor Deathclaw got away. Oh, shit. Oh, darn. I'm going to go chat with Raul and see if he'll give me the dog's motivator. I mean, he might. Also... Uh, it's not a matter of avoiding. It, it, it is now a matter of avoiding Sergeant D Doran. It doesn't matter that he does that I'm not at my post, but if he sees me not at my post, that would be bad. That'd be very bad. How much damage does the laser rifle do? Sorry, pistol. Wow, the range is better than the plasma rifle, but its damage is much lower. Interesting. As soon as he walks away from here, I'll go chat with Raul. Uh, oh, right, there was a technical manual. What a brownie hound. In one of these lockers, and I didn't pick it up. I think I need that. Nope. Nope. Damn it. <laughs> I say that locker might have canine's motivator in it, and that's why he doesn't want to give it to me. Technical manual. Okay. Doc wants me to fix his dog. Send me for the part. Hey, man, it's in the locker over there. Take it and tell Doc Raul says hi. Canine motivator. Oh. Uh, oh well. Looks like I'll have to leave some bullets behind. Okay. It looks like I'll have to leave a lot of bullets behind. Okay, it looks like I'll have to leave a shit ton of bullets behind.